Hey students, welcome to the video. So today I'm here to discuss an NCRT question. So this is from the chapter Understanding Quadrilaterals and this is from the exercise 3.3 question number 6. So let's quickly take a look. So two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have equal measure. Find the measure of each of the angles of a parallelogram. So to understand this, what we can do is let's make a parallelogram first like we have here parallelogram ABCD. Now, we need to find out the measure of all the angles. We do not know the measure of any one of them, but we are given that two adjacent angles have equal measure. Two adjacent angles have equal measure. That means either angle A or B are equal, are equal in measure, B or C, C or D or D or A, right? Now we know one thing since it's a parallelogram, right? So obviously opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. And here with this, it says that adjacent angles have equal measure. This angle A and angle B, let's say these two are equal, right? So the sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram, we know that that's 180 degree. Reason being, these are the two parallel lines, let's say. So these two angles, they are intersected by a transversal. So their sum is going to be 180 degree. I can say that angle A plus angle A, angle B is going to be equals to 180 degree. Now, angle B could be replaced with angle A. I can say that twice of angle A is going to be equals to 180 degree. And we have to mention the reason why we are doing it. So whenever we are solving any question of geometry, reasoning is very important. So angle A is going to be equals to 180 degree by 2, which is going to be 90 degree. So I've got the measure of angle A over here. That's 90 degree. Now I know that Adjacent angles have equal measure. So this angle B over here will also be equals to 90 degree. Now since opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal, so angle B and D will be equal, angle A and C will be equal. They all are going to be equals to 90 degree. So each angle measure of this parallelogram is 90 degrees. That's the final result. So do leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this video.